Hi guys! Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Don't forget if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this cute ladybug sand shovel door hanger, you're going to need two plastic sand shovels from Dollar Tree, $1.25 each, and you're going to need some spray paint to paint them. I picked up my spray paint at Lowe's, but you can pick up your spray paint wherever you would like. Last year, I painted some with um, chalk paint and it did not stay on as well, so I would recommend spray painting your little shovels. It works much easier. Just spray paint them. My son did it for me. He spray painted the back for me, and then he did the front for me. So he did a little extra for me. I don't think you have to spray paint the back unless you just really want to. Make sure you let it have time to dry outside before you bring it inside. And he is so sweet to help me and so is my daughter. I am blessed with really sweet kids that help their mother out so much. You could do this with just either the sand shovel or the little rake if you wanted to. Last year, I was lucky enough to get featured on Dollar Tree's Instagram page when I did the little sand shovel and I did a cute little flower pot in it. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll link it for you in the description box below. But you're going to need some foam, a cute little ladybug, for one dollar from Dollar General. You're going to need some fun summer florals. You're going to need some ribbon with wire for a small bow. And you're going to need three rolls of this nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And some zip ties, your scissors, some wire cutters, and some floral wire to get started. And don't forget your hot glue gun and glue sticks too. And there's Miss Willow. I have had several requests to see how big she is. And look what she was doing. My daughter had to grab her real quick. She is into everything. After the paint had had time to dry, we brought them inside and I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm just putting some hot glue on the back of my sand shovel and going to wrap the handle with the nautical rope. Now it will take three of the ropes. One rope will go almost to the top, but you still need a piece of a second one to complete it. So three ropes total if you're doing the sand shovel and the rake both together. You could add a little bit of hot glue every once in a while while you're wrapping the handle. I am using Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and Gorilla Glue hot glue gun on low temp setting. So just be careful when you're using your hot glue gun. And this is the way they look when they're both wrapped. I didn't want to leave them side by side. I wanted to make kind of an X with them. So cross one over the other. And so last year, I believe I zip tied them together and they still want to move a little bit. So this time I used twine. I tied them together first, just like that. And then I tied them a few more times to make it where they wouldn't move as easily. If they move a little bit, it's still okay. It's not going to mess up the design. I picked up these flowers um, from Walmart for 97 cents. Most of my flowers either came from Dollar Tree or Walmart. So if you haven't been to Walmart lately, they have some of the prettiest flowers for only 97 cents. So these little sunflowers, I'm just taking them, cutting them into shorter pieces. And you're going to need some foam. And that foam was a circle that we cut in half and then we just pushed some holes in it to make it easier to add wire. Those flowers came from Dollar Tree and then the two colors of Blossom Ferns are also from Dollar Tree. So this is a very inexpensive and cute DIY. And the little ladybug chimes came from Dollar General for just $1. So you'll just want to take your floral picks, cut them into shorter pieces. I really like these Blossom Ferns. They come in a bunch of different colors, so they're very pretty and easy to work with and you'll kind of want something that's kind of wispy and has movement to go at the top and the bottom. Um, I chose petite flowers so I think that's probably a good option since the shovels are kind of on the petite side and so is the ladybug. So that's just a thought when you're choosing your flowers. We removed the chain from the top and bottom of the ladybug and she's is made out of metal and she has two holes in the top and the bottom and that makes it easy to wire on and then here I am just adding my flowers and I'm just usually what I do at the top I do at the bottom what I do on the left I do on the right but not always in this case I wanted the top to be a little fuller than the bottom of the swag.
I should have before I started adding any of my floral picks I should have taken some 1.5 inch width ribbon and hot glued it around the edge of the foam that way if it did show you would see the ribbon and not the foam so make sure you do that first even though I forgot also you could add a little bit of hot glue on the end of each pick before you push it into the foam that way it will stay a little bit better I reuse a lot of my florals so I don't usually hot glue mine in and they st stay in fine anyway so it's up to you and here I'm just wiring the little ladybug on with some floral wire this is not my neatest DIY I'll tell you why I ended up using this wire right here to attach my swag with the ladybug on it to the shovels. So the wire wasn't quite long enough, so I ended up having to twist another wire to it to make it long enough to reach all the way around it. So, you know, you might want to do it differently if you're planning on selling wreaths or selling similar wreaths. I don't sell my wreaths. I just give them away to my friends, family, and neighbors, and they're usually just tickled to receive a wreath for their door. Next, I decided I wanted to add a bow, and there's really not much room for a bow, so I just did a single bow, so this is optional. If you think it's a little too much and in the way, then skip the bow. I'm just taking a zip tie and wrapping it nice and tight around the center of my bow, and then I'm going to dovetail the end, so you just fold the end in half with the edges to the left side, go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends. It just kind of dresses up your bow or you could do a knife cut where you cut your ribbon tail at a slant either one's fine then i'm adding a piece of floral wire under the zip tie that way i can easily attach it to my wreath i put holes in my foam that way i could thread the wires through the foam to attach things easily to it so i wasn't real sure where to place the holes but i found one of the holes on the left side and i finally got the wire through it and then i just went to the back gave the wires a few twists cut them off short and folded them down. And make sure you fluff the leaves on your bow. And you could take and thread wire through one of your top holes of your foam and use that wire. Or you could use twine so that you can um, attach it to your shovels. So there's different ways you can attach your little swag to your wreath. Now I used those wires that I told you about. I had to add an additional wire to make it long enough to wrap it around. So I'm just giving it a few twists. To hang it on my door, I just took some twine and it made a loop around one of the shovel handles at the top and that's how I hung it up on my door. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget if you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video, and if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.